what is up guys welcome back to the channel so I got more gaming news for you guys today and it is gonna be another Apex Legends video for you so hopefully you guys enjoy this I found this article on PC Gamer and I'll have it linked down in the description for you guys to find it so this article was by Evan Lottie published an hour ago thank you Evan and let's get right into it it says Apex Legends update nerfs wingman and peacekeeper Respawn discusses plans for hitboxes. Okay, so it's um, Wingman and the Peacekeeper. Wow, that's uh, going to be actually pretty tough for some other players out there that love these guns and are using them to get their wins and kills because they are the, strong, the strongest guns in the game. So let's read more. The first incremental update to Respawn's breakout battle royale game addresses weapon balance and other issues. Okay. Today's Respawn has released the first significant ba balancing patch for Apex Legends, an update that carries meaningful tweaks to two of the game's most powerful guns, the Wingman and the Peacekeeper, and that lays out a plan for changing the hitboxes of three characters. Okay, so. I'm going to scroll down more guys for you and read the big takeaways from Apex Legends update. Okay, the first one is the wingman now fires more slowly and is less accurate when hip firing. Our adjustments are attempting to move it more into the hand cannon space and away from the full auto. The second one is the peacekeeper rechambers less quickly based on which shotgun bolt is equipped and both the wingman and the peacekeeper spawn less frequently dang that's gonna suck because i really do like the wingman and i like the peacekeeper but i don't stick with the wingman and the peacekeeper i like to switch it up and uh i like to have at least the wingman with me <laughs> so that's gonna be kind of tough okay so next one is caustic's traps are a bit more powerful so I've been using Caustic recently, and I think that that his uh, traps should be power more powerful and should look like this. <laughs> and let's see, the next one is energy ammo is more abundant. Ooh, that is awesome because everywhere I looked for energy ammo, I had to ask my friends to keep an eye out all the time to ping it for me. Okay, so next, the last one is Respawn will adjust the hitbox sizes of Gibraltar, Caustic, and Pathfinder at the start of Season 1. Okay, so you got that shotgun peacekeeper right here showing it how it could look when it's reloading slower. Okay, let's get right into it into the article more. It says, no new weapons, characters, or other content was revealed in this announcement. So, um, the new character Octane could be fake, and uh, we probably won't see him again. Unless I'm wrong, and it, this this is just an update, and it, he could come out later on. So hopefully he does. However, alongside the patch notes, the studio took the opportunity to share some of its philosophy around balance, laying the groundwork for what to expect in updates to come. And then over here, Respawn on the right, it has them saying, For character balance, we look at a combination of things. Pick rate, win rate, and character. Character matchup win rate. Our goal is to make less frequent, better tested, higher impact changes so it minimizes the effects on your time spent, mastering a particular mechanic, weapon, character, etc. Writes the update, which was so authored by four Respawn developers. You shouldn't have to read our patch notes every few days just to keep up with our, just to keep with how characters and weapons now work. We know y'all are putting a ton of time into the game and mastering every nuance like Wraith patrolling people off cliffs for the final kill laugh out louds or lols lols okay so go down more and get right into it for you guys 
The studio has also shared a key detail around how it thinks about weapon balance. Respawn's goal isn't to make every gun equally viable. We love y'all's beak memes, so we're hesitant to lose that, but to deliberately build power differences between the game's weapons in order to create meaningful, fun discrepancies, our goal is to have a power curve of weapons, writes Respawn. Power curve just means that some weapons will be weaker and more common, while others will be stronger and rarer. Some weapons are intentionally less powerful until fully herbed purple tier level 3 with, with hop-ups than melee, but gotta upgrade out of as soon as possible weapons. We've seen some good feedback from players about how to make these pistols more exciting without losing out on the goal above that we're listening to. We'll be continuing to watch player data and feedback and trying things out internally, but for now, they'll remain the same. Okay, so it also says, in four weeks following Apex sudden release, hitboxes have been of the most discussed issues. On this topic, Respawn clarified its philosophy while shedding light in the tweaks in plans to make for character balance we look at a combination of things pick rate win rate and character character matchup win rate among other metrics and of course player feedback the results between the five small and medium rig characters have been positive they are all in safe band of relatively equal power our large rig characters however are underpowered and their natural size appears to be a large contributor Rights respawn. Okay, so it says respawn says it's it intends to reduce and optimize the hitbox size of the three large largest characters Pathfinder, Gibraltar, and Caustic with the Apex Legends Season 1 patch. If these changes are insignificant to bring these characters in line, we're also considering a range of other changes such as natural damage reduction as well as individual kit power tweaks. Because many of these changes are significant, we want to make sure that they are heavily tested before they go live, in the event they are necessary. Finally, Respawn acknowledged the chorus of pleas anticipating Apex Legends Season 1 and it is still unofficial whereabouts. We know you folks are fired up for info on Season 1 and Battle Pass wrote Jay Freshetti, Respawn Community Manager. We still have to do to get everything ready for prime announcement and launches like this, so please be patient. I know the wait sucks, but it's coming, and ask that you all please be patient with us. <laughs> okay, so then they got the patch notes over here. Apex Legends patch notes for you guys. It says wingman and has a rate of fire reduced by 3.1 to 2.6. So that's going to be reduced. Skull piercer headshot damage multiplier reduced from 2.5 to 2.25. And then the increased base hit fire spread and decrease the rate at which hit fire, spe hit fire spread decays shrinks back down. Dang. Okay, then they got the peacekeeper. Shotgun bullet rechamber rate has been reduced for the peacekeeper only. Level 1 mitigation 10% to 7.5%. Level 2 mitigation 20% to 13%. Level 3 mitigation 25% to 16%. Women and peacekeeper availability has been reduced in all zone tiers. Increased availability of energy weapons and ammo in all zone tiers. Dang. So that's going to be even tougher for people to find a Peacekeeper and a Wingman. But we'll have more energy ammo for the energy guns. Okay, so additional patch notes. Caustic occasionally causing disconnects while throwing his ultimate. Pathfinder occasionally causing disconnects when activating a survey beacon. Players occasionally causing disconnects when removing an attachment. Gibraltar occasionally causing disconnects when pulling up his gun shield. Players occasionally causing disconnects when entering spectate mode. Okay, and then we got coming in season one major balance changes. 
hitbox size reductions and optimizations for caustic pathfinder and gibraltar and then this is the next one we're better sizing hitboxes to character gear and model and then it says since the adjustments have a major impact on the game we want to make sure there aren't any major bugs so we didn't want to rush them out if these adjustments prove to be insufficient we'll consider additional adjustments during season one major balance changes and then they got we got caustic right here where it's talking about caustic it says traps reduced cool down to 25 seconds from 30 seconds traps increase radius and proximity radius by about 10 percent and then the last one is traps removed a one second delay on the smoke dealing damage to players okay so pathfinder inside our insider knowledge increased the number of beacons in the world to 12 from 10 lifeline care package removed slight chance that level 4 armor and helmets will drop oh that's so that's actually helpful when if you guys are at lifeline and you guys use your care package um you don't have to worry about getting some crappy loot from it and you'll be um, getting a slighter more better chance to get level 4 armor and helmets so that's pretty cool and then Wraith into the void cooldown increased from 20 to 25 seconds Bangalore double time reduced move speed bonus to 30% from 40% wow so that's it guys for this uh, Apex Legends video Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and and if you guys want to check it out I'll have the link down in the description for you guys to go and check it out on PC Gamer and look for yourself. So make sure you guys leave a comment what you guys think about um, this new update and patch notes. What do you guys think about the Wingman and Peacekeeper being uh, kind of buffed? I kind of think that it sucks in a way but then it's it's actually, I guess, balance. They're balancing the game for us, and, and Respawn's getting to work out there, and I'm actually pretty proud of that for EA and Respawn um, doing pretty good with this game, and it's not going to shit like Anthem. So make sure to like, comment, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, guys, and always I'll see you guys in the next video and stream. Peace out, and have a good one.